Hello everyone. Today's video is about an important topic regarding database anonymization called L-diversity. L-diversity extends on the concept of K-anonymity and addresses some privacy issues that remain after K-anonymity is applied to protect a database from attacks. If you don't know K-anonymity yet, click the link on the top right of the video to watch the video about K-anonymity first before watching this video. The main problem with K-anonymity lies in the fact that no matter how high your K is, if the data is not diverse, individuals can still be identified. Take for example this database. We know that we have to remove the name and generalize the quasi-identifiers, age and zip code. Now we have achieved a K equals 3 anonymity as the quasi-identifiers are the same within all three equivalence classes. If an attacker has some auxiliary knowledge, for example, that Bob is in the database, as well as Bob's zip code and his age, the attacker still knows that he has a heart disease, because it doesn't matter which one of those three entries Bob is, all three have the same disease. L-diversity as a concept has been introduced to tackle this problem. Its definition is that there should be at least L well-represented different values in the sensitive attribute field within each equivalence class. Going back to our database, we have three equivalence classes. If we want to achieve, for example, an L equals 2 diversity, we have to have at least two different values within each equivalence class. For example, this equivalence class here is 3 diverse, since there are three sensitive values within this class. The third class is 2 diverse, as there are two represented values. Unfortunately, we cannot do anything for the first equivalence class as we would have to eliminate this equivalence class if we would want to have two diversity for the database. However, take this database which has the salary as additional sensitive information. Again, we delete the name and generalize the quasi-identifiers. We have therefore achieved three anonymity. We also achieve three diversity as all equivalence classes have three distinct values in both sensitive value fields. Is Bob now safe? Uh, not really. As you can see, L-diversity doesn't care about semantics. That means that we might not know which exactly is Bob's disease, but we do know that he has problems with his stomach and that his salary is comparatively low. That's why we can apply T-closeness, which has been introduced as yet another amelioration of K-anonymity. The concepts on how to calculate the distances between distributions of sensitive values is what you need uh, when you apply T-closeness, and is out of scope for this video. However, I will discuss and explain T-closeness in the next video thoroughly. But for now, I conclude today's video. Thanks for watching. Tell me in the comments which topics you would like me to cover. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.